The wait is finally over after years of hardship and wondering whether they'd actually reach the finish line. The Vegas Golden Knights are for the first time in their sixth year of existence Stanley Cup champions. Phil the Thrill Kessel is a three-time Stanley Cup champion. Alec Martinez handed the cup off to Jonathan Quick. It was a very weird year. This was removing my love of the Rangers, probably the worst Stanley Cup clinching game I've ever seen. I was diligently taking notes in the first period on Florida's giveaways. That weird whistle goal, but ultimately it didn't matter because the Vegas Golden Knights just scored the most goals ever in a cup clinching game with nine. Mark Stone had just the second cup clinching hat trick in the first in over a hundred years, which was started by a beautiful shorthanded goal and bookended by an empty netter in the middle of the third that he had like three cracks at. It was such a weird night. Gary didn't even get booed by the Vegas crowd. The dude Dude was absolutely feeling himself. For real though, this was just a clinic by the Golden Knights. They completely ran over Florida. The series, it never felt close. I gotta take the L on this one. I predicted Florida, the team of destiny, would win it and they deserve so much respect for their cup run. But especially with Kachuk, who had a broken sternum and missed tonight's game, they just, they weren't in it. They simply weren't. Jack Eichel in his first ever playoff appearance. The stats aren't updated yet. I'm not going through all nine goals, but in going into tonight, 23 points in 21 games. Yeah, I think the neck surgery probably worked. Jonathan Marcheseau, playoff MVP, Con Smythe winner, made sweeter for him by the fact that he was picked by the Golden Knights after who else but the Florida Panthers failed to protect him. That looked like a bad move at the time. Now, ugh. pretty incredible stat. The last undrafted player to win the Con Smythe was Gretzky in 88. How about Bruce Cassidy, dropped by the Boston Bruins, a team which achieved the best ever regular season now also a stanley cup winning coach just a phenomenal playoffs yeah i guess the conference finals and the stanley cup finals not as close as they might have been but i'll remember this year very very fondly and with that i guess we've reached the end of the first ever ek hockey season and i've made the difficult decision to go out on top no, I'm just kidding. We'll be back tomorrow. But for real, this season and covering hockey for all of you, over 100,000 of you now, has honestly been a dream come true. I've been on YouTube for a while. But this channel, which I run with my best friend Brandon, it's been a joy. So I'm so thankful for you guys joining me throughout not only the playoffs, but the regular season. And we will continue our coverage of everything hockey tomorrow. But I do want to end with the X YouTube NHL Bracket Challenge. Some of you may have forgotten about this, but over 6,000. 500 of you submitted a bracket through NHL.com's challenge and we now have an official winner. Dim Sung with 296 total points has won the challenge. At number 2 was Go Big or Golf. At number 3, Fight Night. All three of you will be receiving a prize. I'm still working out the final details. We've got a really, really cool partnership. I think I initially promised you guys a jersey. We've got something even cooler coming. However, if you are one of these individuals, email me proof to Eckhart's Ladder at gmail.com. I will include my email address down in the description. Just take a screenshot that shows your bracket and your picks. And if you do want a prize, which you should, send me your full name and shipping address. But that's all for me and Brandon. I'll see you when I see you.